Hey, I'm Caitlin Alexander. I'm a non-binary YouTuber and I use they, them pronouns. And I'm here to tell you about some of the worst dates that I've ever been on. There are many, so I just chose two. So let me set the scene for you. I was on a little dating app that uh, you, you have to swipe on and I swiped on this really pretty girl. She was, seemed lovely and she wanted to go to a movie. So I was like, let's meet for a movie. Showed up at the place. Uh, I bought tickets for us both. We were walking in to get popcorn and I was just talking to her and she casually used uh, she, her pronouns talking about me for some reason in the third person. I don't remember why this was happening, but you know. And then I corrected her. I was like, actually, I'm non-binary, so I use they, them pronouns. And she just kind of looked at me like really blank faced. It like hit her like a ton of bricks. She just looked at me really seriously and went, oh my God, you have multiple personality disorder? And I went, what, what? And she's like, is you, there's, you think there's more of you. That's why you use they, them, right? And I was like, no. Oh! No, that's not it. And then I tried to explain to her that non-binary meant that I didn't identify as a he or a she, so I used they, them instead. Nothing was getting through to her. She was convinced that she was on a date with like eight separate people trapped in my body. It's totally cool. Some people have multiple personality disorder. I don't. So I sat through an entire movie with someone who definitely thought something of me that wasn't true. And then when I said bye, she said, I'm really proud of you for telling me about your disorder. And I said, I'm non-binary. I don't have multiple personalities. We are never going on another date. And that was probably the worst date I've ever been on in my life. By now you're probably like, wow, that was a horrible story. There can't possibly be one that rivals that. Well, there is, and there's more. So again, dating apps, not so great for me because this situation happened where I met up with a girl for coffee who sat down at the table and instantly went on a tirade. And I remember her sitting down and just going, so I have something I really need to talk to you about. And I went, okay, this is a weird start to a date, but like, sure, I'm desperate, let's go for it. And she was like, so you're lying to people because you're just a confused butch lesbian. And I went, Wow, you really know how to get a conversation started. I am hot under the collar. This is so interesting. Tell me more about how I'm not real. And then she did for about 20 minutes. And then I finally got up and was like, it was a great date. That was a lie. This was a terrible date. Uh, don't ever do this to somebody again because I can handle it, but some people might not. So if you don't like non-binary people, just don't swipe right on them. It's simple. And she went, Screw you, and I went, have a good day, and then I walked away, and that is why you shouldn't use dating apps. Just kidding, that is why I shouldn't use dating apps. <laughs> Tips on avoiding these awkward dates is probably, you know, tell people about your gender before you show up, make sure that they understand what it is and will respect you, and if you show up and they don't respect you, Leave, maybe don't spend $20 on a movie or like $10 on coffee. Just save yourself the money and go buy yourself like, I don't know, a video game? Video games are fun. Yeah.